Dear students, welcome back to my video classes on economics. In continuation of my last video on monopolistic competition, in this video, I'm going to discuss on the determination of equilibrium level of price and output in the short run as well as in the long run under monopolistic competition market. And also about the efficiency of the firm. Either the firm is allocatively efficient and productively efficient or not. Let's talk about the monopolistic competition market. The market model is a type in which large number of firms who are producing or selling goods with slight differentiation in its quality or producing goods with close substitutes of one another but not identical. Mm, say, for example, toothpaste industry in which large number of toothpaste firms producing toothpaste with slight differences in their quality uh, as like um, Colgate, Pepsodent, Close Up, um, Dover, and so on. As a result, um, they need to educate their consumers about the quality of goods um, so that they may in increase the volume of sales and for which they need to spend huge sum of money on advertisement. Due to the expenditure incurred by the firm to increase the volume of sales, such expenditure is called to be uh, selling cost or you may say advertisement cost. Um, in addition to such cost expenditure, the analysis of the model, market model becomes more complex as compared to monopoly and perfect competition because with the existence of such cost the market model exists two types of cost. One is called production cost, another is called selling cost. And due to the addition of such cost, the analysis of the model becomes more complex. In context of that, the number of variables increases. As in monopoly and perfect competition, there exists only one type of production cost, that is production cost, and number of variables uh, is, are two. One is price, another is quantity. But here, the selling cost increases to two and accordingly the number of variables increases to um, two to three increases from two to three as a result the determination of equilibrium price and output becomes more complex uh, compared to monopoly and perfect competition um, so to make this simple the analysis simple and the determination of price and output possible under monopolistic competition market we have to assume that the firm we have taken in our study has to attain the equilibrium level and the rest of the firms, all other firms in the industry have already attained the equilibrium level by assuming that the sales expenditure of the firm is constant. Then only the determination of equilibrium price and output becomes possible under monopolistic competition market. So these are the restrictions we have to overcome to determine the equilibrium level of price and the um, restricted the obstacle is only related to selling cost. So you have to assume the selling cost is constant. By assuming constant sales expenditure, now the only problem is to determine the equilibrium level of price and output in the short run. Now to determine the equilibrium price and output we have to fulfill two um, equilibrium conditions of the firm um, or of a firm in any market situation. These are the equilibrium conditions of the firm in any market situations uh, we have to fulfill. The first one is a necessary condition that is MC must be equal to MR and at the, its equality MC must be um, rising or we must say non-decreasing. By following this condition, we could, we could easily determine the, simply determine the equilibrium level of price and output in the short run as well as in the long run. Before determining, before going to compare these um, marginal concepts to determine the equilibrium level, first we have to determine the uh, demand curve under monopolistic competition market, without which we couldn't derive the revenue curves. As you know that, the firm under monopolistic competition market, as like monopoly, the firm has some um, market power 
or you may say that the price making power that is the reason the firm restricts its output at a level where his average cost is slightly higher than the minimum average cost or you may say that the firm is producing restricting its output at a level which is less than the um, least cost um, possible level means the firm is um, producing less than the least cost possible level or you may say socially desired level of production so that he may charge a set a price which is greater than the marginal cost. It means the monopolistic competitive firms as like monopoly always charges a price which is higher than the marginal cost and um, with higher price the demand will be lower and hence the demand curve under monopoly or monopolistic competition market will always downward sloping. By knowing the demand curve, we can draw the average revenue curve as the average revenue is represented by the demand curve. Hence, the demand curve is also called to be coincided with average revenue curve or average revenue curve is coincided with demand curve. Now, the demand curve or air curve is downward sloping. By knowing the average revenue curve, we can draw the marginal revenue curve because marginal with the fall in the average revenue marginal revenue will also fall but the rate of fall in average revenue is always sorry marginal revenue is always greater than the average revenue the rate of fall in um, marginal revenue is always greater than the average revenue as a result marginal revenue always lies below the air average revenue it means the average revenue is al always remains greater than the marginal revenue. Now to determine the equilibrium level of price and output we could compare the marginal concepts marginal cost with marginal revenue. Now to draw the marginal cost we have to fulfill the condition that is marginal cost is at its rising condition becomes equal to MR must be equal to MR or cuts the MR curve at a point where his where MC becomes equal to MR, marginal cost at, at its rising condition becomes equal to MR at the point E is called to be the equilibrium point. At this level we will calculate the or we will determine the equilibrium output and equilibrium price. Now after determining the equilibrium level of price and output the question is the firm is either earning profit or incurring losses. To know the, um, to estimate the profit or loss of the firm, we have to compare the average concepts, that is average receipts and average costs. Means we have to compare average cost with average re revenue. To draw the average cost curve, already we have an average revenue curve, we have drawn the average revenue curve, now we have to draw the average cost curve to compare the revenue and cost at the equilibrium level. To draw the average cost curve, as we have already mentioned before that, the um, monopolistic competitive firm always restricts its output at a level uh, where his average cost is slightly higher than the minimum of SC. That means the firm is always restricts its level before reaching the um, least cost possible level of output. So to draw the average cost curve, you have to keep in mind that the average cost curve at its downward slope cuts or intersects the equilibrium level at a point which is slightly higher than the minimum of average cost which is slightly higher than the minimum of average cost so you see in the diagram I have drawn that is the point at which average cost is slightly higher than the minimum of average cost so the firm is earning profit because the ever here the average cost is less than the value of average revenue hence the firm is earning economic profit of the volume of green sided rectangle area this is the economic profit the firm earns mm, in the short run when his average revenue is greater than the average cost now 
the firm is the firm face loss when the firm is facing losses when the firm's average cost is greater than the average revenue the firm will face losses it is a situation in which average cost is shown slightly shown slightly higher than the average revenue i have followed um, same conditions on the, in the next diagram so at the point of equality of the mc and mr we have calculated the estimated the or determined the equilibrium quantity and equilibrium equilibrium price which is equal to average revenue and the average cost which we have drawn is higher than the average revenue so the at the equilibrium level average cost is this and hence average cost is greater than the average revenue at this diagram so the firm is earning facing losses of the volume of the red rectangle side red sided rectangle area of the diagram it means the firm in the short competitive monopolistic competitive firms in the short run may earn prop economic profit and may incur economic loss it earns economic profit when its average revenue is greater than the cost and it incurs economic loss when its receipt is less than the costs per unit now in the long run are the firms earning is the firm earning economic profit answer is no the reason is that when the firms in the short run earns economic profit that profit will attract new firms to enter into the market or into the industry to produce that commodity by producing that they may share enjoy the share of the profit to avail the share of the profit the new firms will enter into the market as a result the existing firms demand and supply both will shift down accordingly his average revenue will also shift down until it becomes equal to se it means until the profit is not squeezed out the new firms will continue continuously entering into the market and hence at a level the firms average revenue becomes equal to Sorry, yes, average revenue becomes equal to average cost, and hence the firms will face zero profit or earns normal profit, or you may say cannot earn economic profit. While in case of loss, if the firms within the industry under monopolistic competition market faces loss in the short run. then the existing firms will leave the market leave the industry and this will continue until the economic loss is not eliminated as a result the demand and supply of the existing firms will shift up and average revenue curve will also shift up and becomes equal to average cost when it becomes equal to average cost the um, firms will stop to left the market the firms will stay into the market means the firms continuously leaving the market only when the they are facing economic loss and the loss is until the loss is not el eliminated the firms um, exit of the market is not stopped could not be stopped in this way the firms in the long run under monopolistic mar competition market will earn only normal profit or zero profit that is um, with the equilibrium condition by following the equilibrium conditions as in the short run the firm attains equilibrium level where mc becomes equal to mr and mc is at its rising condition um, becomes equal to mr at this level equilibrium quantity is qe and equilibrium price is um, pe at this equilibrium price and output the average revenue becomes equal to average cost at this point long run average cost is equal to long run sorry long run average revenue is equal to long run average cost this is the situation of the firm in the long run under monopolistic competition market warns always normal profit or zero profit or you may say that the firm in the long run under monopolistic competition market cannot earn economic profit so 
from this we can conclude that the firms firms in the monopolistic competition market can earn economic profit only in the short run and in the long run the firm cannot earn economic profit now now is the firm under monopolistic competition earns sorry is the firm under monopolistic competition um, allocatively and productively efficient or not the answer is no the firm is the firm under monopolistic competition neither allocatively efficient and nor um, productively efficient in the long run the reason is that the firm under monopolistic competition market produces at a level which is um, always higher than the slightly higher than the minimum of ac before reaching the minimum of ac the monopolistic competitive firm restricts production or its output level or he attained the equilibrium level before reaching the minimum of ac as you know that the the minimum of ac level of output is the least cost possible level or you may say Mm, socially optimal level of production which the society is desired but the firm is never produces at this level which is called to be the productively efficient level of output which the society is desired it means the firm under monopolistic competition market is not productively efficient means productively inefficient the firm under monopolistic competition market is productively inefficient because it produces at a level which is socially not desired means he is produces producing less than the socially desired level less than the least cost possible level it means he is charging a price which is higher than the minimum average cost and marginal cost also and set a price this is greater than the marginal cost means at the expense of the consumers the firm is earning profit hence the firm is not productively efficient the firm is productively inefficient now is the firm product allocatively efficient answer the firm is not allocatively efficient or you may say the firm is allocatively inefficient because the allocative efficient level of production is at the level where is where the um, marginal cost is equal to price where the price is equal to marginal cost means we know that the demand air or demand which is equal to mb that is the marginal benefit which the which is the um, which you may say that the real value of the price which the firm which the um, consumer is paying for the commodity so the firm is allocatively efficient only when if the firm is producing at a level where his mb where mb where society's mb must be equal to mc mb is equal to mc then only the firm is allocatively efficient and the allocatively efficient level of production is this is the allocatively efficient level of output that is q suffix ae this is the allocatively efficient level of output who is the society who is the firm is not producing at this level it means the firm is producing at a level where this where the mb is where the mb is greater than the mc this is this is the mc and this is the mb that means the firm is at the expense of the consumer earning profit and this much is the loss of social welfare loss of the total social welfare or we, or we may say that the socially 
loss of total social welfare or I may say that the this much is the triangle area in the society is facing loss of welfare or in monopoly company monopoly market it is called to be the um, it is called to be the social cost or you may say dark sorry dead weight loss hence the firm a monopolistic competitive firm is neither allocatively efficient and nor um, productively efficient in the long run as the farm is um, producing at a level which is um, higher than the minimum of average cost and set a price which is greater than the marginal cost. Hence the farm is neither allocatively efficient nor productively efficient. The question is, is the farm um, allocatively and productively efficient? The answer is no because the monopolistic competitive farm is producing at a level or restricting its output at a level where his average cost is slightly higher than the minimum SE which is the productively efficient level of output and he is also by producing restricting its output he set a price which is greater than the marginal cost it means the farm is uh, allocatively also inefficient this is the answer um, in case of efficiency of the farm thank you